What's up guys, Brett with New England Auto and Truck Recyclers. Today we're parting out a 2010 Suzuki SX4. Uh, you've probably never heard of it, but if you have one, you might be the only one that's heard of it. Uh, this vehicle has 92,000 miles on it. We're going to double check the left knee here. Control arm, spindle and strut to make sure that it is or any part of it is any good for you. Uh, looks like we got 16 inch factory steel wheels. Uh, can't say that this one will make it given that it may be bent. You can see it right there um, Left front door is atrocious. So we're gonna part it out. So good window glass good window regulator left door mirror as you can see in Shambles left rear door. We're gonna part this one out too because again, it is hideous uh, Good window glass good window regulator rear beam axle on this bad boy uh, quarter panel on the left side this tiny tiny quarter panel uh, a couple of small pings throughout but I mean, it is in decent shape. Quarter glass on the left side is in great shape. Uh, tail light, the one tail light, I'll call it quarter panel mounted on the left side in fantastic condition. That will definitely be available. Uh, rear bumper rebar looking good. This thing is all wheel drive. I never would have guessed, but it is all wheel drive. So you got a good carrier, uh, good drive shaft, good rear beam axle. I don't even know if I said it. I feel like I said it, but maybe not. Uh, the lid on here, got one small ping right over here. Uh, otherwise, it's in actually really good shape. That'll come with straight, just the hinges. Uh, right tail light looking good. Quarter panel on the right side in decent shape. You got a couple of small pings above the wheel well. Otherwise, it looks fine. Uh, right quarter glass in great shape. Right rear door, you got a handful of pings. I mean, otherwise, it looks okay. Uh, right front door, you got a decent dent right above the door handle that's got some rust forming underneath a paint chip. And another good chunk of dent and some lip damage right near the fender. So, I mean, there's a fair amount of damage on this one. Uh, be weary. Just be aware of that. Uh, right door mirror in decent shape. Um, small scuffs on the bottom, but it's in all right shape other than that. Fender is obviously crap. Uh, we're going to check the knee on the right side here. Control arm, spindle, strut. Again, just like the left. We'll see what, if anything, is salvageable. So let's take a look at the inside of this bad boy. Trim panel's in good shape all the way around. You got a little bit of wear here on the armrest on that driver's side door. You got a good master um, on the left for windows and locks. You got cloth, manual seats uh, in really good shape. You got some armrest wear on these. But, I mean, the seat itself is in good shape on both sides. Again, armrest wear on that left and right seat in the front. Let me move this back. Manual seat. Wheel bag has been deployed, but the steering column is still in pretty decent shape. You do have the dash bag intact on that passenger side. You got a good glove compartment as well. Uh, back seat in great shape. Cannot believe it, in great shape. Uh, you got a good receiver in here. Master for heat and AC. Floor shifter in good condition as well. Speedometer looking great. Uh, I, I don't know if the engine runs. I can't. I, the dipstick is broken inside the engine. I, I can't pull it out, so I'm not even going to try to start it. It's got 92K on it, and I just can't be breaking something with 92K on it just because I feel like being a bozo. Um, so, hey, we'll give it a rip in dismantling. We'll see if we can't figure out what's going on um, and test it out. In the meantime, if you have any questions on this vehicle or you have questions on any other vehicle in the yard or something you may just want to call up, say what's up to our sales team, that would be cool too. I bet they'd like that. Give them a call. They will be more than happy to give you the help you need.